You remember those claw grabber skill games that they have in arcades? You know, the ones where you lower the crane, snatch up a fuzzy toy or something, then drop it in the chute to win. Remember when the claw simply wasn't strong enough and it just slid straight off your prize? I don't know, I always felt ripped off when I play these. The beautiful thing about Dingle Dangle is that whatever you touch with your rope, you pick up. Your goal on each of the 60 levels is to collect the required number of dingles and load them onto your pirate ship. A lever on the side of the screen allows you to raise and lower the rope at will and tilting your device causes the rope to swing. The controls will be quickly learnt by the player, which is a good thing because the game gets very difficult very quickly. You see, you need to collect stars to open the new worlds, and therein lies the problem. While it's not necessary to collect them all, I'm a bit of an obsessive compulsive and in order to obtain three stars, you'll need to not only collect the required amount of dangles but do it within a very small amount of time. It takes careful manoeuvring and intense concentration to achieve these goals. Thankfully, the controls are very precise and responsive. I never felt like the game was to blame if I dropped or murdered my dingles. As you progress, new mechanics are slowly introduced. Wind that pushes you, often into obstacles, food that will increase your size, making it impossible to squeeze through some tight areas, different colours of dingles that only stick together if they're the same, spikes that burst your dingles, breakable walls, and my personal favourite, fire that can not only damage an individual dingle, but burn your rope, making it impossible to pick up anything at all. If this all sounds too complicated, don't be alarmed. The mechanics are introduced at a steady rate, and if three-starring each level isn't high on your priority list, you can take your time and ever so carefully swing and manoeuvre your dingles throughout each level. Whichever way you choose to play Dingle Dangle, I'm sure you'll agree, it's a hell of a lot of fun. The diamonds that you collect throughout the levels are the currency for the in-app purchases. The beautiful thing about this game is that the items that you can purchase are not necessary to either complete or to have fun with the game. You can buy costume changes for your dingles, boosts to help you through some of the trickier levels, and different ropes. Just Some Games has created one of the most engaging titles I've seen in a long time. It's unique and very engaging, and the fact that you can indeed take your time and try different strategies if you're not looking to perfect levels really makes the user feel like they're not being shut out like some other games can. It's just an enjoyable experience. If I could offer one small piece of advice to Stu over at Just Some Games, it's that the single music track does get quite repetitious. While this is a complaint I often have with mobile games, it certainly doesn't ruin the experience here. Dingle Dangle is universal and will cost you 99 cents at the time of this review. Be sure to check it out via the link in the description below. Thank you for joining me for today's review. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more great iOS gaming content. Also check out GameMob for the latest mobile gaming news, tips and reviews. That's www.gamemob.com.